Monday. He's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby. Now, one of the greatest stories ever told was this past Sunday, all in the greatest professional wrestling event of all time. And, and let me just say this to everyone who was there live, to everybody who watched all over the globe, thank you. Thank you for making that the most special night of my entire life, seriously. <laughs> me and MJF became your new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. And in the main event, I challenged for the AEW World Championship. And I talk about how special that night was. It wasn't quite perfect. Because in that main event match, I lost. And that hurt, guys. That hurt really, really bad. But I know at some point, I'll get another shot at the AEW World title. I know that. Now, concerning my good friend, MJF. Guys, he's, he's not in great shape. Actually, his neck, it's, it's pretty, pretty banged up. But I can promise you this, this Sunday, at All Out, live, right here in Chicago, MJF is gonna be ready to go. But there is something very, very important Adam! that I wanted to discuss here today. Adam! And I Adam! It's Roderick Strong. Mike Bennett, Matt Taven, the kingdom. What a wet blanket they, this guy is. Well, he's just, he's just a, a very close friend, Adam Cole, Roddy Strong. He's, he's, it's a difficult time for Let him. Let me get this straight, Adam. So you care more about the fact that Max's neck is bad than you care about my neck. Is my neck health not important to you? Roddy, this is getting so ridiculously absurd. Uh, this is not the guy that I know. This is not the guy I've been friends with for over 10 years. I don't know if it's because you're listening to these guys. These guys! These guys, really, Adam? Like you don't even know us? Are you kidding me? You know what, Adam? I'm gonna do story time right now. So listen up, it's story time with Mike Bennett. Shut up! Adam, let me take you back, 2010. Ring of Honor, ECW Arena. It's a 21-year-old Adam Cole versus a 25-year-old Mike Bennett. Do you remember what happened that night, Adam? Because I do, and I can tell by the look in your eyes that you remember. We got each other jobs that night, didn't we, Adam? We got each other signed to Ring of Honor. And from that point forward, man, I felt like we were bonded for life. And it sure as hell felt like you did too, because we did everything together. You were at my wedding, man. You, you hosted my bachelor party the night before. Think about all the arenas we went to. The Saibu Dome, the Hammerstein, the Ted Reeves Arena. Hell, we even did the Fieldhouse right here in Chicago, Illinois. I mean, but let's be honest, Chicago is the worst city to wrestle in. Adam, we picked each other up during our worst moments, and we celebrated each other in our best. But you know what your problem is? You care far too much about what all these idiots here think about you and you forgot what these guys meant to you. Mike, you know that that's Hey, shut your mouth. Yeah, you heard me. I thought about this for a long time. This is just who you are, Adam. You needed us. You need the kingdom to take over Ring of Honor. And when you achieve that, you jump ship to the Bullet Club so you could pad your wallet with that merchandise money. You left to Florida and you surrounded yourself with all of our friends so they could prop you up and they could help you hold on to that title for as long as you did. 
And now you want to come back here and say you're a changed man? You're a liar. You're the same leech you've always been. And now you've latched on to that corny Melvin MJF because you think that's the gateway to the AEW title. Let me ask you something, Adam. When you look at pictures of the past, do you just ignore all the people standing around you? Because I truly believe that in your mind, you think you're standing there all alone because that's the only person you've ever cared about. You guys know, you know for a fact that that is not true. Do we? Do we? I, because listen, honest to God, if I made you feel that way, truly, I am so, so sorry, okay? Uh, because I know we were all very, very close at one point, but what I've learned over the years about friendship is how important it is to be understanding of each other. And the three of you need to accept the fact that Max is not only my friend, damn it, he's my best friend. No, nope, not today. Adam, I can't accept that. I just can't. So you know what? I'm entering that Grand Slam tournament and I'm gonna do what you couldn't do. I'm gonna beat MJF in the middle of this ring and become the new AEW World Champion with my real friends, Mike and Matt, by my side. So if you were my real friend, you'd be rooting for me too. Roddy, Roddy, that is a horrible idea. You and I both know that. You are in no condition to wrestle. Your neck is not in good shape. Oh There's my God, Adam Cole is pretending to care about me, finally. Lucky me. Listen to me, Adam. Unlike your soft tag team partner, I don't need a roll up. I don't need a diamond ring. Hell, I don't even need a neck that's 100% to win a match decisively here. Bad neck or not, I'm gonna break everybody's back and I'm winning that tournament because I'm a wrestling legend. Let's go, boys. Wow. Roddy Strong in the tournament, and Roderick Strong calling his shot, setting his sights. Roddy's no joke, man, between those ropes. I have done nothing wrong. Roderick Strong setting his sights on MJF, the AEW World Championship, that dynamite grand slam. Well, I, I tell you, he's been the odd man out through all of this, and I, it's I, weird. I, I, I feel sorry. I feel bad for Roddy Strong. You I, do. I really do. It's sad. Your friend walks out on you. Well, it's tough. Ho hopefully he doesn't get hurt again and somebody would call the ambulance. Oh, that's that's nice. That's tough.